What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. So it's been a couple of months since I've done a video and that's because I'm overseas traveling and will return in about a month from now. So I found this yellow wall, I set up a light and I have my trusty microphone and decided to put a video together for you today. And this video is about the current recession we're in. So unless you live under a rock, you know that we're in this recession. I guess that's what it's called. I think they've changed the definition a couple of times, but let's just call it a slump. We're in this slump, this economic slump, and it looks to be a long one. And specifically for us, there look to be a lot of tech layoffs. For example, if you look at this LinkedIn article, we know that Meta, Google, Walmart, FedEx have been announcing big moves. We got Zillow cutting jobs, Oracle, Sneak, Philips, Microsoft, Salesforce, General Electric, Peloton. I mean, everybody seems to be cutting jobs. And many of those jobs are developer jobs, the engineering crew. And because of this, I've gotten a lot of emails and comments asking me, hey, should I be learning to code during this recession? Is it safe to do that? Is it safe to try to change jobs in this economy, this uncertain economy? And so I decided to put a brief video together today to help you piece together some thoughts about it. Given that tech companies are doing more layoffs and freezes than they are hiring new talent, it's an important topic to discuss. I mean, your job might be at stake here. And a more important thing to note is if they're laying off a lot of developers and you're a new developer or someone just learning to code, the people they're laying off have the experience you don't have, which means it seems like it's gonna be harder to break into the industry. So again, let me just give you a few tips today and I need to break this down into two groups. So there's the people learning to code, like just starting out or thinking about learning to code. And then there's the people who have been learning to code and were planning to start applying and doing interviews and hopefully shift into this new career. But then this recession happened and now they don't know what to do. You know, they want to keep their job. They want job stability, but they also want to change careers. So we'll discuss both of those today. So first, let's talk about the people just starting out learning to code. So they want to change careers, but the economy's bad. What to do? Well, I think this answer is pretty easy. Should they continue doing this? Yes, they should. Why? Because recessions end, markets pick back up. That's how things work. And when things pick back up, tech companies are gonna have this weird dynamic where they have more demand, but a deficient workforce to fill those roles. So they're gonna have to do a lot of hiring. They need people back. And if you spend this time, this recession time, learning to code, really nailing it down and building projects, posting them on GitHub, becoming proficient in programming and doing algorithms that help you out in the interview, then you'll definitely be a valuable asset to any tech company when things pick back up. So if you're just starting out learning to code, you're thinking, should I start learning to code? Should I think about changing careers? Absolutely. And if you need a step-by-step, week-by-week, coding blueprint that takes you from complete newbie to job ready developer, then be sure to check out my coding blueprint. I'll put a link to that below or I'll put something up here to click on. But while you're learning to code, keep your current job, of course, because you need that stability. And then when things are right, make the move. So that's one group of people. The harder question involves the second group of people, the people who are ready to start applying for jobs. They've been learning to code for months. They feel prepared, but they also don't want to get a new job and then be laid off a month later because their current job might be stable and they don't want that uncertainty. And to these people, this is a really tricky question because nobody can guarantee your job security in a new job, but at the same time, nobody can really guarantee it at the current job you're in in this market. So ultimately, you're gonna have to make that call. But here's one thing I think worthwhile to consider. If you do decide to go for that coding job and you actually get it, if you can stay there for just a few months, even one to two months, you've then gotten your foot in the door and ultimately it's easier to get another tech job once you've had one, even if it was just for a few months. And the fact that you didn't get fired, you got laid off due to the economy. So those people thought you were good enough to hire and the new people you'll interview with will see your skills as well. So that's one thing to consider. But overall, you just got to remember, it's going to be harder than if the economy were booming right now. That's just the way it is. But again, ultimately, you'll have to make the call. Another option for those in this situation, you know, you don't want to lose your job, but you'd really love to switch careers right now, is to consider freelancing. Like go to Upwork, create a profile and try to find some freelance work. Or go visit some local businesses in your area, look up their websites, find the ones that really suck, 
and go visit those businesses and offer to make it better. I have a whole video where I talk about easy ways to find freelance work. I'll also post that below, but I think that's a viable option. If during this recession, you pick up some freelance work and you do real world projects and you can put that on your resume or in GitHub or whatever, I think that will really help you out when the markets take off again. Now, the final thing I wanna say in this video is to those people who have already been laid off, one of the best tactics for landing a new job that I've seen is going on either LinkedIn or Twitter and letting the world know that you got laid off, letting them know your skill set and that you're now open for work. Now, I see so many posts where like tens to 50 to like hundreds of people leave comments like, oh, that sucks, but check out my company or we're hiring or use my referral, right? Developers get paid at a lot of companies to refer talent. So make sure you're posting your jobs on social media, letting people know your skill set and that you're open to work. So that's all I got today. It's supposed to be a really quick video. Hopefully after editing, it's pretty quick, but I hope this gave you some tips and guidance as to learning to code in a recession. As always, if you found this video helpful, click that like button below and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.